Hey folks, what is the difference between the previously competent Honor Magic 6 Pro and the recently unveiled Honor Magic 6 Ultimate in China? Although the two smartphones have identical high-end specifications, the Magic 6 Ultimate aims to set itself apart with the addition of extra high-end features like satellite connectivity and LiDAR. The drawback, it's currently only accessible in China, and it's not clear when or if it will spread to other countries. We haven't had much time to play with the Honor Magic 6 Ultimate, but we have played with the almost identical Honor Magic 6 Pro. In light of that, the two are contrasted here. In line with Samsung's Galaxy S24 series, where the Ultra model has a distinctive appearance, the Honor Magic 6 Ultimate seems significantly different from the Magic 6 Pro when viewed from the back. The Honor Magic 6 Pro has a quite large circular camera bump on the back. It also has a textured pattern and a shiny aluminum frame that give it a squircle-like appearance. The back of the phone is available in glass or vegan leather. While the latter is offered in a visually pleasing shade of green, the former is only available in black. However, the Honor Magic 6 Ultimate has a lot larger square-shaped camera bump on the back, which gives it a distinctive appearance. Metallic lines also extend from the top left and bottom right of the bump. It is only available in vegan leather, either ink rock black or Honor's gorgeous sky purple pink or purple color. This is in contrast to the Magic 6 Pro. There is a distinction between the Honor Magic 6 Ultimate and other models, despite both having a 6.8-inch AMOLED screen with a maximum brightness of 5000 nits. This is due to screen protection. Honor's second-generation monocrystalline Jirhino screen technology, which is included in the Honor Magic 6 Pro, appears to be rather durable, considering that our sample hasn't received even a single scratch. With Honor's more recent Honor King Kong Rhinoceros glass, the Magic 6 Ultimate, however, kicks things up a notch. Honor claims that the screen technology provides 10 times the scratch and full resistance of earlier versions of its safety glass. It also received a 5-star grade from the Swiss SGS Multi-Scenario Gold Standard, indicating that it is fairly robust, even when compared to the Magic 6 Pro, which is known for its durability. The primary camera feature shared by the Honor Magic 6 Pro and Magic 6 Ultimate is an incredible one. It has a 50 megapixels primary camera on the front, with a huge 1 per 1.3 inch sensor, and a variable aperture that allows you to shoot at f1.4 or f2.0, but the more intriguing feature is the periscope. With a massive 180 megapixels resolution and the widest periscope sensor available, it can take seriously competitive shots when it comes to zoom, even matching the capabilities of the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Completing the 3 is a 50 megapixels 122 degree ultra wide with autofocus. With its focus technology, the Honor Magic 6 Ultimate elevates the game, utilizing LiDAR in lieu of laser AF, as seen on the Magic 6 Pro. According to Honor, the sensor can track at 60 frames per second and has 1200 laser focus points. This makes it possible to catch motion in all directions and to focus quickly and precisely, which should be especially helpful for Honor's Quick Falcon Shot technology. As long as you're in China, satellite connectivity is one important area in which the Honor Magic 6 Ultimate and Magic 6 Pro vary from one another. The Magic 6 Ultimate sounds more capable than an iPhone 15 and can connect to China's Tiantong satellite. It also supports real-time audio calls and two-way text messaging. In comparison to other mobile satellite systems, Honor's in-house created satellite antenna is said to improve performance by 11%. When paired with the Honor C1 Plus chipset, the connection should be quick and power efficient. Apart from the previously noted distinctions, there are very few changes between the Magic 6 Ultimate and Magic 6 Pro. They have the same powerful triple camera system, 5600 mAh battery, fast charging times, high-end 6.8-inch AMOLED display with all the eye-protecting features that come with it, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, and, well, you probably get the idea by now. What do you think about this comparison? Write your opinion in the comments. If you have any questions, I will be glad to answer you. Have a nice day and God bless you.